Hot! Oh, DK Oldies time! Is DK Oldies a scam? No. Give it a button, that up. Hey Rich, have you checked out DK Oldies? Hey Rich, have you checked out DK Oldies? Hey Rich, have you checked out DK Oldies? I hear they're a scam. I hear they're great. I hear they suck. I hear they don't suck. I watch YouTube videos and they seem to suck. So you know what I did? I spent a lot of money on a Nintendo Entertainment System. And uh, yeah, I I'm, we're gonna find out and we're gonna open it and see if they actually refurbish it the way they claim. So a little backstory on DK Oldies. They blew up on TikTok. They have 2.5 million followers and they basically made a bunch of videos that essentially show them thoroughly uh, refurbishing the consoles. And a lot of normies bought into it and a lot of the collecting community is like, what you're doing to these does not justify spending three times the price. You're going to see it here. Other used game stores are selling the same products, essentially at the same quality as DKLDs for a third of the price. So I, I, I hope this was licked clean. I want to see the gold on the connectors of the games that are in here better sparkle so much that I see the reflection off of my shining pink beautiful nipple. Oh yeah. All right, so anyway, let's open the box. So as you see here, it is DK Oldies. I just scratched out my address because I don't want anyone saying that, Rich, you didn't really get that from DK Oldies. I did. All right, so I already... I didn't open it, unbox it. I don't know what to expect yet, but I was... I didn't... I didn't pay attention to the label when I got this. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, is, I was like thinking maybe it's from DK Oldies, but I'm like, they didn't fit an NES in a perfectly square box. Oh wait, they did. They did fit an NES in a perfectly square box. That is, that is talent. All right, so look, we got paper. Can't wait to shove this up my ass. We got, I got it just for the hell of it, cause. I'm always curious to see this is a composite to HDMI converter so you could play your Nintendo Entertainment System on your new fangled 720p plasma TV. Only the OGs know about those. Even though they were flat, they weighed as much as a goddamn house. All right, so we got, all right, let's paper. We'll go to get to that last. You know why? Because I know this box is kind of in my face. So there's that. So here we got an ace, oh no. Really, you couldn't get an actual, you, these adapters suck. They suck and they introduce noise into the video signal. I've dealt with so many of these. You couldn't find at this price point, DK Oldies, a real goddamn adapter or at least a reputable third party one? Are you out of your mind? We got AV cables, they are what they are. That, I'm already pissed off. <laughs> What is, all right, is this, this better be a real Nintendo control. Okay. It is a real dirty. It is a real dirty. They gotta be kidding me. Are they, are you doing this on purpose? Is this like your business model? Like let's get a bunch of YouTubers to see that our stuff really. So look at the back, look at that. I don't know if you could see it. I'll put, I know this camera sucks and my editor begs me every time I do a video like this to get a new one. Um, you see it here? It looks. <laughs> Looks like it has like a uh, dirt army fatigue kind of pattern to it. Maybe that's what they were going for. But at least, how do the buttons feel? Is there any stickiness? We sure as hell are going to open. They kind of. Ah, it's missing. There is only three screws in the back of this dirty ass controller. Is DK Odie's a scam? No. I haven't even touched the console yet. Just keep that in mind. Your shoulders. We are, um, we are not off to a good start. I love how they put a screw. See, they don't have the, they pulled out the Nintendo screws or they had like a proprietary screw at the time and they put in their own, own, Retracting, 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 relax your anus. 
with your anus. Is DK Odie's a scam? No. Good. I swear to God, they don't give me my money back on this thing. I'm gonna lose my shit. Look at that right here. A chip. I spent $300 on this system. 300. You could get one in the same, if not better condition for a third of the price. Why is there a chip right here in the system? Why? Can you explain that to me? I could find one of these on eBay in this condition. Dirt on the feet, dirt on the... This is 2016, there would be a lot more swears in this video. Dirt on the feet. Get your sticker off of here, I'm opening this. You did not. You did, this is, oh, they have a sticker that if you tamper with it, <laughs> you're funny, you're cute. That guy with that blonde hair, he's a handsome man. He's a real handsome man. I'm opening this anyway. Just thought I'd put that out there. Let's see, let's look at the front here. Look, there's all scratches here, dirt there. Oh, that's so, and you know what? I don't even know what that is. Maybe DSP had another May 1st episode there because I'm putting my finger across it and it's wiping it up. Yum. Cucumbers. All right, so I know these are not clean. There's no God. No, they're not. The connectors are dirty. This is unreal, man. This is like, let me go get some alcohol and I'll, I'll clean this and see. See what's on these, on these connectors. BRB. All right. I'm back with some isopropyl alcohol. This is not, I usually like using denatured alcohol uh, because isopropyl kind of has a lubricant on it. So it could leave a little bit of a film, but it's not the end of the world. It'll work. So let's see. Um, they're already a scam. Like it, we could stop the, I could stop the video here, have the outro and be like, yeah, don't buy shit from DK Oldies. So, um, I don't have high hopes for what's going to come off on <laughs> this Q-tip. Let's see. Nope, dirty. Maybe a top contrast to the console over there. Look, dirty. It's absolutely disgusting. I mean, it's not, I've seen way worse, but your, I paid for refurbished, the extra premium. There should be nothing coming off and you can do it, okay? I'm gonna show you right now. A little time and a little effort as I am spilled isopropyl aqua. Looks like I pissed on myself. That's fine too though, that's perfect. Just like I got ripped off by DK Adley's, I'm perfectly okay with that. But if you put the effort in, first off, isopropyl alcohol, evaporates in seconds so i'm not worried about it. look at that it's the other side too still dirty basically what they're doing as i clean this i'm not going to clean the rest of the cartridges now though. we already know is people who don't know any better who have look i my mom's on tiktok all the time she's 65 years old okay the normies I hate using that term because it sounds like I'm being condescending, but it's true. People don't understand the technology. People who aren't collectors in the community, they see these videos, they put on this show that they're thoroughly tickled, refurbishing them, and people who don't understand buy into it and think the price is justified. Now, I will say, if all of this nonsense didn't happen and they actually had a clean, very clean console with games that were thoroughly cleaned, just doing this, that's all you had to do, and if I open this up, I don't have high hopes. I'm actually gonna use it first to see if it works, then open it up. If this was actually cleaned internally, you know, maybe recapped, uh, all the dust blown out and made to look like new, still a high price, but I I would swallow the, the jagged pill. This is, no, the pill is made of cyanide. Don't swallow this. Anyway, before you open it up, Let's at least see if they packed up a console that works. We'll, we'll start there. Wanted to show you something too. Don't mind my bird in the background. He's just being sexy. But watch when you pop up the cartridge slot. It just kind of jiggles. It's not. It's supposed to go all the way up and not do that. So there's another L. Just thought I'd put it out there. All right. All right, this is the first time I put Super Mario Brothers 2 in. And look at it. Look! This wasn't cleaned. This was absolutely not cleaned. 
I'm going to have to clean this game too. Okay. Second time's a charm. I haven't cleaned this yet. We'll clean it after I play the game. Uh, let's just see how it holds up. And let's see how truly broken this control. Yeah, see? Like, it feels like it's fine, and then it just stops working. All right. There you go. No problem. Let me touch it normally. See? I have to put force down. These guys are scam artists, man. I, I, this is worse than I thought. I thought people were just giving them a hard time. No. They're literally robbing you blind. Oh, yeah. The controller stopped working again. But it sounds fine. The system itself is running fine. But I can tell you right now, if I open it up and it's actually clean inside the Nintendo Entertainment System, I'm going to crap my pants because I just don't think it's going to be. Anyway. All right. So here we are. This is the game that I cleaned. This is Super Mario Brothers 3 and it's working. Worked the first time. Uh, it It's widescreen. This stupid HDMI box they gave me forces it widescreen. But you know what, though? I will give it credit for something. It actually works with my capture card. A lot of times these HDMI boxes, let, they don't even want to work with some HDMI TVs, <laughs> let alone a uh, HDMI capture card. So let's go. Let's see how this holds up. All right, so, so far, none of the buttons on the controller are sticking. Well, maybe. Oh, they are. No, they are this controller like sometimes like it feels like it's working yep there it is again i had to push down harder on the controller remember folks i spent 300 us dollars on this system to be thoroughly refurbished and the controller is not working right i'm speechless i'm absolutely speechless all right i'm back and dressed even sexier now i had to find a uh, screwdriver that would fit in the holes of the NES. They do not use the original screws, DK oldies. They use Phillips head. So uh, let's get in here and see how much refurbishing they did. All right, so I pulled off. It is a new 72 pin connector. As you see, it's nice and shiny there, but here is the motherboard. Um, it looks clean. I have to say at least the internals on this look okay. And I'm not seeing there any, all the caps, caps don't look swollen. But the million dollar question is, with all the other things they neglected here, did, is this just a lucky motherboard? You know what I mean? We're just gonna get dust inside of it. So, all right, the board is clean, but the reality of it is, does the rest of the package justify the price? Could you not get this in this condition anywhere else? Hell no. Anyway, I'm gonna spastically put this back together and then I'll give you my final thoughts. I'm not gonna make you suffer and watch me do that. I'm just gonna suffer. Okay, so it's story time with dad. Uh, and I have to give a disclaimer with this. I am gonna technically have to take the L here, but I don't think I'm the one who should. I know that sounds like I'm contradicting myself, but let me explain. So you saw that I took apart the DK Oldies NES. It is successfully put back together. And I took note of the fact that screws were missing as I was taking it apart on the bottom as well. They're not using spec screws. They're, they, there's a special kind of hex head that Nintendo used to use. They're using their own Phillips head, which are more than likely not the same length or the same spec as Nintendo's original screws. So I'm putting the shielding back on, I'm putting it back together and you know, success. It was put back together, but I was noticing something. The game was not going in properly. And I'm like, I got the holes on, the back bra black bracket to line up and they're screwed in properly, why would the game get stuck? What we realized is, I actually brought this to my dad after I put it together, I'm like why is this so tight in front and the game getting stuck? And what we put together is because the screws are a little bit longer, it's makes it making the plastic contort, which in turn was not letting the game actually go down. So what I think is, is that DK Oldies purposely missed screws because they knew they weren't putting the proper specification screws in and they knew if they put all the screws in the bottom like if you know if they actually did their job properly that this wouldn't actually work so they cut corners and did a half-assed job by design well done you blew it I tried to go into DK Oldies with an open mind 
I saw that there was negative press around them, but there's negative press around everyone on the internet. It, look me up. I'm sure you'll see some stories. It's just how it is and misinformation gets out there. But no, you are as much of a scam as everyone has been saying. It's incredible. I mean, this works, it's competent, but this you consider refurbished? This you think is worth, depending on the bundle you get, $300? You did nothing to this. I could go on eBay right now and find a Nintendo Entertainment System in better condition with this and with a controller that's actually working. That doesn't look like it was shoved up a zebra's ass. I just, I don't, I, I'm not even going to waste my time opening this because I'm sure it's dirty as hell. This is absolutely unacceptable. DK Oldies is a scam that makes their videos go viral on different platforms. And in turn, people who don't understand retro tech like this, they get suckered into it, seeing these videos that are complete lies. Now, look, if they were just selling these systems as is, and DK Oldies was like, hey, this is it. It's a turd. You want to spend 300 bucks on it. That's what we're selling it for. People get suckered into they, they, they get suckered into that. But where they are flat out scam artists and unethical is they are showing videos where they are taking apart systems and like piece by piece and thoroughly cleaning them and putting them together and making them look brand new. And they're doing none of that. They're not doing a fucking thing. They're not doing any of that crap. Do not buy, do not support this company. They should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Unbelievable, man. Again, scamming people with nostalgia. I wonder if they work with Tommy Tellerico.